Today we're getting started in the living room, but I'm going to clean pretty much every room in my house with the exception of my granddaughter's bedroom because that's clean and she hasn't been here and what I like to call the den or the dog room. When I'm here by myself every day, I don't make too much of a mess and if I do I clean up after myself, but I've been kind of taking it easy the last couple of days and I have a two year old that's been running around so she's helped me make a little bit of a mess so I've got some more content for you guys. Her mom called right as I started cleaning the living room so I knew I only had about 10 or 15 minutes to get it cleaned up so that she could start all over again today. She loves playing with these dogs. She plays with them like they're her best friends. They really did not see her on the couch. They went to go look for her. When I tell you these flowers made a huge mess, I am not even exaggerating slightly. They made a humongous mess. Now, that's probably my fault because I left them there for probably like three weeks. Had I cleaned them up before they dried up, they probably wouldn't have dropped the dried pollen that comes off of the flowers. But because I didn't get rid of them right away after they died, they did dry up. The pollen did drop all over everything. And unfortunately for me, that pollen is orange. It's like dusty orange color. It's all over the top and in the cracks of this glass table. I knew this was going to be a mess when I saw those flowers dropping on the floor and I didn't even want to use a microfiber cloth to clean this because I knew how bad it would be and I also know that that pollen stains. I love these hippo sack trash bags that I get from Amazon. I've been purchasing them for, I don't know, probably two or more years now. And they've gone from being around eight or nine dollars for 90 to 22 dollars. Two months ago when I bought them, they were 13 dollars. And I even went back and looked at my previous orders and I'm like, when did they go up to 13 dollars? The very next month after I looked that up, they were 22 dollars. <sighs> But I do have to say, they are the best trash bags in the world, so I'm still paying $22 for them. I 
have another love-hate relationship with this toaster. I got it on Amazon also because that's where everybody buys everything, right? I read the reviews, everybody said it was great, it's a four slot toaster, it's got fancy buttons. But the problem is, when the toast, or waffles, or bagels, whatever you're toasting pops out of it, it flies into the air. So I have to stand there with my hand over the top of it to prevent it from flying onto the floor. If by some chance I look away or I'm not paying attention at the second it pops, it will literally fly out of the toaster onto the floor. It never lands on the kitchen counter. It always lands on the floor. But other than that, it's a great toaster. <laughs> A couple videos back I did a refrigerator clean with me that was inspired by some Aldi storage containers that I got. They're those clear plastic containers that have the silicone rim around the edge. They're airtight, waterproof, all the things. Supposed to be microwave, dishwasher, and freezer safe. That's a lie. Not even on the top shelf are they dishwasher safe. If you head over to my Instagram, I recorded a reel over there of what they look like after they came out of the dishwasher. It was pretty comical. While I'm washing these dishes, you can see I'm going back and forth between the Dawn Power Wash and using the dish soap that's built into the kitchen counter. I mostly forget about the Dawn Power Wash, even though it's sitting right there on my counter, I forget to use it because it's just habit to just slam down that pump on the kitchen counter. I do have to say though, Dawn Power Wash is fantastic for getting stains out of your clothes. I probably use it for that more than doing my dishes.
I bet you thought I was done with the dishes. Nope. There's always that one pan, always one that you forget, somewhere around the house. For me, in this video, there's actually three. Not one, not two, but there's actually three that I keep coming back and washing. Stay tuned. While you're on the edge of your seat waiting to see what other dishes I'm gonna wash, take a second and hit that like button if you've made it this far. And then if you love this content, hit that subscribe button so you can come back and hang out with me every week. You said that you needed me Like a cargo, you will carry me I just hope you know my death This one was from Oven Bacon that I made obviously bacon. I made BLTs for dinner the night before. I don't know, maybe it was two nights before. Anyway, if you've never made oven bacon, 10 out of 10 recommend. Try it, absolutely. Put all your bacon on a baking sheet lined with foil for easy cleanup. Put it in a cold oven on 400 degrees for about 25 minutes and just watch it to make sure it's the desired crispness. I personally like mine a little more crispy so I leave it longer than 25 minutes. But that foil actually makes it really easy to clean up. Normally I would just take that foil off and throw it away but a little bit of the grease had slipped over because I put a hole in the foil when I was putting it in the pan. Can't win them all. I went to go check on the baby because she was being good and quiet and because you know a good quiet baby means trouble. Although she wasn't doing anything, she was just sitting on the couch watching TV. But I found this salad bowl in my room where I ate lunch during work today. Now I know I just called her a baby, but she's actually not a baby. That's just habit. She's two years old and of course, here's an example of being unsupervised. She came walking in with the fly swatter. I don't even know where she got it from. It must have been on a table somewhere. So I'm going to take it from her real quick to avoid her hitting one of my dogs with it or herself. <laughs> and then carry on making my bed. You see her over there in the corner. She just plays with the dogs. She sits in their bed. She just follows them around. They follow her around. Best buds. When my daughter stayed here, she used to frequently let all three dogs sleep with her in the same bed. So all three dogs plus her, which means she had like zero space in this bed because this is just like a twin size day bed. But anyway, she would let the dogs sleep with her. So when I pulled that duvet cover off, I saw some dog hair sprinkled all over the mattress and decided to vacuum it up. Look at the amount of dust, dander, dog hair, whatever came out of this mattress. I didn't even vacuum it on like the super high, like super suction speed. I just vacuumed it on normal. Clearly I need to do that more often. Now remember the entire time I've been cleaning, I've had a two year old running behind me. So I am actually shocked to see that there's not really much messed up in my living room. But I just wanted to show you that it's not perfect. It's, it's never perfect except for the very second I am finished with a video, even when it's just me at home. I mean, I use dishes, I sit on the couch, I use the blanket. I mean, there's stuff everywhere. That rug in front of the TV has been there for like three weeks. No lie. Did you get your foot stuck? Do you need help? Wait, get the water! 
don't put your foot in there. That's for drinking. In the mud. That's for drinking. Thanks again for choosing my video to spend a couple minutes of your day with. That's all I have for you and I hope you did hit that like and subscribe and I hope that you're having a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week.